one final result. What are your thoughts following that one? I think it, um, it's a, a good performance as I've seen uh, by the eye. I think the way we controlled the game in parts and large parts was uh, was outstanding. We, we talked about control all season, um, game management. You know, they started well today. They come here um, with a purpose. They come here to win. They, uh, they look lively for 10 minutes, but once we got that first goal, um, we, we kept the ball. We killed any momentum they had um, and, and, and scored the second goal at a good time. Um, disappointed to concede it again in the manner we did. Just lazy, pedestrian. Uh, but easy said than done for me. The play, lads have played well. Um, it's it's, it's one, one step closer to where we want to be. Uh, and, and, and we've got Thursday and Saturday to look forward to now. So when you look at the games that we've played against them previously, having been there twice so far this season, they were both end-to-end -end contests. This one, we, as you said, were in full control. Was there any differences between them, or was it just the players on the day? No, I think I think you've got to pay credit to, to, to Morpeth coming down to Radcliffe on a Tuesday night in, in their cars, and it's a long way, uh, and it's, it's an excuse we all use when we travel away on a Tuesday night, especially after work. But their application was great tonight. They, they could have come come here knowing that they probably can't get in the playoffs. They can't be relegated. At this stage of the season, it's hard to get up for any game. When, when if you're, in my opinion, if you're in more shoes, but they've come down. They've done the, the gaffer credit in terms of their application. They worked hard. They didn't make it easy for us. We just played well. We moved the ball well, um, and, and 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 was rewarded with with a big three points. Obviously, scored quite early on in that first half, and then it almost looked to be a frustrating almost going in at 1-0 until Ali's goal right before half-time. Just how important is that in terms of the, the game in general, setting up for the second half and damaging their confidence right at the break? It's massive. Uh, any level of football you can see it on the stroke of half-time, especially when you're 1-0 behind already. It, again, it kills any momentum, it kills the, uh, the, the team talk for, from the opposition. You know, at 1-0, the, 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 the game's nearer there. At 2-0, you've got to at least score two to get a draw and three to win, which... Again, at any level, it's tough to do. Um, but, you know, it, 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 pos positives-wise, like I say, outstanding performance, but we've missed some chances tonight and with double figures chances. Um, chances where we'll look back and, you know, you'll go, if we was ever going to be a, winning the league is what we set out to do, is what we want to do, and score as many goals and, and entertain as much as we can. And we feel like at times, you know, we don't want to show more of any disrespect, but that was the game where we, we believe we could have scored or took more chances than we actually did. But we'll settle for, for, for the four and we'll settle for the three points. And like you said, we'll move on. Uh, and it's a massive positive in terms of performance. In the first half especially, their goalkeeper was putting in a man of the match performance, saving absolutely anything. Was there ever a moment where you thought, we're not going to get another one and it's going to go right down to the end? Yeah, we've been in football to, to realise that you know, you could be on top for 90 minutes and, you know, we've seen it this season at home, especially where we've we've dominated games of football and we've lost in the dire moments of the game. You know, that's, that's happened twice to us this season, recently and, and, and right at the beginning of the season. So it's all going well, playing well. You have to put the ball in the back of the net um, or at least not concede to take at least a point. You know, we start the game with a point. We always hope at home, especially, we should finish it with at least a point. Um, and, but that's not the case at any level again. I keep you know, going back to the fact it doesn't matter what level you're playing at, you've got to take your chances, especially with the amount of chances we create as a team, uh, especially at home. And four goals on paper looks like it, and Amarin, um, it was just about the three, just about the three points, um, and it sets us up nicely now for, for another home game on Saturday. Being 3 0 up already in cruise control in the 70th minute, you had the opportunity to rest some players ahead of Saturday. Is that thoughts in mind? It's a squad game, and, 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 and there's moments in games where you know it's never won the game. It's never won, and we, we'll never show any disrespect to any opposition, you know, because we've been in games where we've been 4 0 down with 10 minutes to go and still found, found a way to get a result. You've seen this season we've been 3 0 behind and, and, and still come back to win. So that's more, you know, the game at that point, 70 minutes in, um, we, we felt like it was right to change it uh, and introduce pace for like for like. Uh, get Banjo up top to give us a platform area because uh, they're quite dominant there, they're, they're central too. Um, and, and, and yeah, but I think, you know, um, a lot of credit got to go to the groundsman tonight as well. You know, we, we get there tonight and the service was amazing, it's flat. Um, considering the, the conditions and the, the weather we've had, you know, fair play to, I won't name every single one, but, you know, fair play to Harry and, and I'll have to forget in a service as good as what it were. And that gives the lads that momentum and it gives them the, the kick up the backside to want to go out and get on the ball and the ball, you could see the ball zipping. That's a massive part in, in, in players' application. You know, when they come and they see the pitch in that condition, it gets them wanting to get on the ball and, and, and be exciting, um, getting in areas on the half turn and playing forward, which we've seen tonight 
in abundance. So, you know, fair play to the, to the ground staff uh, in terms of getting a, a surface as well as what it is at this stage of the season. A bumper attendance, over a 1,000 again, uh, ahead of non-league day against Ashton. What do the fans mean to the squad when they're on the pitch? We've reiterated that all season. I'm a Rackley lad. There's not, nothing better than seeing this growl, you know, grow with, with the club. The club, you know, we're moving in the right direction. And with that, the, the, the crowd are, uh, are certainly behind us. Uh, and, and there's not better than getting three points in your hometown and, and, and sort of, you know, walking around, um, applauding and thanking them and seeing, you know, faces which we know, you know, John was 1.2 mile away from the ground. And like you say, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's unbelievable, especially on a Tuesday night. Uh, and we just hope we can we can get a bumper crowd down here on Saturday. Um, it's dead easy for me to stand here and say it, it, it helps us win a game of football. Um, the, 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 the bigger the crowd, the more exciting I think it is to, to get the three points. And we come together at that stage of the season and hopefully we, you know, we, can, we can put on a good show Saturday and, and again, gets us one step closer to where we want to be.